Bitcoin time is here, but for all the DGENs, what's going on with our altcoins, meme coins, who's going to be a fast horse, and who's to be left behind. So we'll cover a few candidates that you need to see for yourself. It's not going to be a long video. You just watch the charts, and it's going to be easy to see who has potential and who doesn't. And when Bitcoin breaks out like that, obviously liquidity and attention is on Bitcoin. Therefore, altcoins don't do much. And it's not the time for altcoins. However, some altcoins follow Bitcoin during this period, before altcoin season. And those ones will explode in altcoin season. Because even though the attention is on Bitcoin, they still gather momentum and they have buyers and there is price action in their coin. So we'll see four candidates today as part of the my altcoin portfolio and you will see who is moving and who isn't. Some have 80% plus to, all, to get to all-time highs, others way less than that. So my two conviction plays are Bitcoin, and the second one is this coin, Solana. And as you see, Bitcoin, Solana. So Solana is moving, following Bitcoin quite strongly. And it's not altcoin season. So what do you think is going to happen with Solana in altcoin season when the attention of towards Bitcoin will be less and people will take profits from Bitcoin and dump it on altcoins the first candidate will be Solana. That's why many people are talking about maybe even getting close to $1,000 per Solana. I don't know how high it will go. I know it's going higher. The market will decide how high. The market will decide how high Solana will go this time around. But if it follows Bitcoin throughout this Bitcoin phase that we're going to have right now, watch out for altcoin season for Solana. Then, what's the other narrative that's been working quite well so far? Memes. Look at what? Doge. Doge. An old meme. Not even a new meme. An old meme. It's not moving the same way as Solana, right? But it's breaking out right now. An OG coin breaking out at the same time as Bitcoin. Positive. 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 Okay. Let's move to other coins. Cardano. Okay, where is Cardano going? Sideways. It has zero momentum right now, and Bitcoin is moving up. So it means that it's waiting its turn. Is it going to be a fast horse? Apparently not. Not right now. Even Doge is ahead of Cardano at this stage. If you look only on the weekly chart, it's flat. It may go down. It may move up a little bit. But so far, right now, the momentum, if you see the MA50, MA200, is almost flat. It's, it's slightly going up, so not a lot of momentum. Do we expect Cardano to suddenly just jump in price? At this stage, I could say no. Charts are not indicating this. And for those who say, oh, I don't like this project, or things, no, I'm just basing it on charts. And the charts reflect what buyers and sellers at this time think about that coin. Solana and Bitcoin could be called the short coin or fast coin or doggy coin. It doesn't matter. You would go with the one that are moving, that have momentum. That's what you have to do. That's your job as an investor to find those coins. Those that are moving sideways, you're just hoping something happens. It could be that in altcoin season, Cardano moves up. But Doge and Solana will already be extremely higher by that time. So the performance of those two coins versus Cardano are going to be completely different. That's my prediction, but it's not a huge prediction because the charts are, are already showing it right now in October of 2024. Another coin. A lot of people like this coin. A lot of people have been investing in XRP for a long time. The MA50 on the weekly chart is going down. That's not good. The MA200 slightly going up. Very little small momentum. 
price action? Is it showing something close to breaking out or has some type of upwards momentum? No, zero. So what do you expect from XRP now that Bitcoin is breaking up? It's going to stay there. That's what the chart is showing. You don't have to be a TA expert to see this. This is plain and simple. Go with fast horses. We have another one that we can look into. Let's see. Shiba. Oh, Shiba is in between. <clears throat> Has a little more momentum than Cardano and uh, XRP. Corrected, found support, and now it's breaking up a little bit. It's less strong than Doge at this stage. Okay. But it's better than Cardano and XRP. I wouldn't say it's better than Doge at this stage. And it's not better than Solana or Bitcoin. What about ETH? Let's finish with that. ETH. Okay, ETH. ETH has been a little disappointing, but it has upwards momentum. We could see something from ETH soon. But obviously, ETH, Ethereum is an altcoin. And we will see explosion in price pot potentially or increase in price for Ethereum in altcoin season. But is it following Bitcoin? A little bit. At least it's not flat like Cardano and it's not flat like XRP. So I would say my ranking would be XRP is the worst. Cardano, second the worst. After that, I would say it's Shiba, then Ethereum, then Doge, and the top two at the stage, Solana and Bitcoin. This is simple based on momentum on the chart. You don't have to be an expert to know this. For this phase of domination of Bitcoin, that would be my ranking for those coins. And obviously, if you have three coins to pick, you know which ones to pick. If you just have one to pick, you know which one to pick. And if you have two, you know what to do. So look at the market this way, because that's the only way to evaluate right now at the end of October 2024. Who's moving up and who isn't? And those that have not moved, then it's just hope. Hope that something happens.